so with Sunderland drawing with Arsenal, yet again it comes down to the final match of the season. Could Luton stay up again? For the second year running, it's Derby County who are the opposition this year at Kenilworth Road. Forsyth to take the free kick. And just waiting now as Mark Wright moves forward. Further beyond him is Mick Harford. Wright going for it though. Oh, a missed kick by McDonough. Harford drove it well and a flying save from Alec Chamberlain. The goalkeeper who's had a terrific season, though it's been such a trouble one for Luton Town. And Mick Harford, who knows this pitch so well, really connected well. On from Harford. Saunders beaten to it by Dreyer. Here's Elstrup. And Derby backpedalling. Elstrup goes on and on. Black, oh, it was a reasonable chance. But on a synthetic surface, the contact has to be virtually 100%. And when you look at this again, you'll see that Kingsley Black got it down towards the heel of his left foot. Well, on that side, he's uh, normally pretty reliable, but it's a tense affair, this. Although Black and Luton have been through it before. Too often for their comfort, it's Black's attempted cross now, and he really is at the moment trying a bit too hard. He's Luton Town through and through. And he deserves to be playing in the first division next season. Will Peter Shilton be playing at all? Just skipped away from Priest when he thought he was going to be able to set Luton going. In the end, David Priest gets a tackle in on the retreat. Nicely done by Rees. Black. Rees is free to the right. Black still looks and doesn't use him and crosses instead. And Kingsley Black was using Jason Rees as a decoy. And it was a ball that took some defending by Derby. Luton had the corner. Priest to take it. Black started to show for the short one and has moved away now. Header from Dreyer. Priest again. And again. And Derby have pulled plenty of players back. playing simply for their pride, trying to end their disastrous season with a victory. Long from McDonough. And that's Farrell climbing well. With the sale of Ian Dowie earlier this season, Sean Farrell has the opportunity here to earn a regular place. Dreyer, pushing uh, Pembridge out of the way. Pembridge gets his toe to it. And Farrell is away from right. And it was all fairly untidy. But George Courtney doesn't rule in Farrell's favour. He got in front of Mark Wright. And then Wright was able to get to the ball. Saunders. Derby at the moment, struggling to hold the ball up in the Luton half, and Luton pressing strongly. Oh, and Farrell! Well, they really have had enough chances already to uh, secure another season of first division football here. It was uh, rather a fortunate run on the ball that took it to Farrell, but it was a clear opening. Dreyer. Here's Pembridge. Geraint Williams 
really having to do total defending in his midfield job at the moment. Four minutes to go to half time. And here's Reese with the free kick. Oh, and it's a goal! And I think it came off with great irony the head of Mick Harper, the former Luton player, who headed so many fine goals for Luton, and he's got another one wearing Derby's colours. Well, Luton don't mind how the goal came. They are in front, and that will surely relax them. Trying to avoid the news of how Sunderland are getting on at Main Road. But Luton are in the better position of the two clubs who are trying to avoid going down with Derby. Here's Paul Williams. And they're listening to the radios, the supporters are. Put down by Harford, helped on by Saunders. But Luton are on a high. Pembridge. Farrell! Oh. Well, Chilton went one way, the ball powerfully went the other. Too powerfully because it arrowed wide of the post when, in truth, Sean Farrell had most of the goal to aim at. has got it back this is black Pembridge well Luton have had to lean heavily on their young players and some have really come of age this season and Mark Pembridge would come into that category Farrell waiting by the near post Elstrup just behind him Shilton doing the organizing and Priest pondering as to what to do with the corner Oh, it's come for Black, and for Elstrup! Well, early in the season, it was Elstrup's goals that kept Luton in a presentable position in the table. And here he is again, in the right place, very much at the right time, for Jim Ryan's team. 2-0. Right. And Mark Wright has made a great run. He hasn't scored this season, and he still hasn't. And he credits Alec Chamberlain for that. Oh, and it's right again against the bar. Well, I think Derby felt... Uh, just how low they were on luck when Niall Quinn of Manchester City went in goal and saved the Dean Saunders penalty a few weeks ago. But very little has gone for them. And the same applies here. Micklewhite, good handling by Chamberlain. To a real chorus of approval. It was Mark Wright earlier who rattled the bar. Harvey. It took two to stop him. There it is! Luton Town stay in the first division. And for the third successive year, they've done it on the last day of the season.